to seek the soul the truth lies within so here i want to thank all of you all those people all those listeners who actually given a like subscribe to this channel and actually have spread the good news because whatsoever you're learning over here if you're spreading you are getting blessings for that and blessings is what we're going to take with us at the end you know what helps a person in the end is the blessings if you're there on that cot in a medical hospital if you're there over there if you have a friend if you have your parents over there or if you have anybody who's there in the hospital who's under the care of a doctor in the end the doctor also says one thing only that it is in the end the blessings of god and the blessings of people which will actually protect you so when you are spreading the good news is the blessings which we are earning so now let's get back to what we come here for today i'm going to talk about something which is happening all over the world today it has got to do with the covid-19 yes the pandemic actually so what is happening around the world we are seeing number of deaths which are increasing number of cases which are also increasing and i'm sure you must have heard somebody who's a near and dear one who's a good friend of yours who's a colleague whom you knew maybe they have passed on to the next life or what we call it as death or what we call it in a spiritual way as the soul leaving the body now for a lot of people it's a shock for a lot of people they're not being able to be there next to their loved ones next to the kins and they're not able to look after those ceremonies where you are supposed to let go of that person for the next life right now a couple of friends of mine also shared certain incidences with me and a friend of mine a very close friend of mine she told me that even she was not able to attend her own relatives antasiti or what we call it as the last rites so this is something which is not normal at all and people are not able to actually accept it and some of them are actually taking the blame onto themselves some of them are not able to forgive themselves and some of them are not able to let go so today we are going to talk about the first three things which we need to learn to do whenever we are facing a situation like this i understand it's easy to say it than to do it but it's a practice you see in the end everybody has to leave in what way that person leaves in what way do i leave or do you leave this mortal coil depends upon one important thing and that is what we're going to talk about the first thing is i need to learn to understand that i bring my own destiny with me with which i realize that i need to forgive myself so let's say a relative a close friend or a colleague for some reason is not there anymore in your life now you can blame yourself or you can forgive yourself with one simple understanding in spirituality that a soul is on a journey each being is on a journey and each being has already created their destiny like even i am creating my destiny right now my thoughts are deciding the purity of my thoughts are actually deciding the purity of my karma is actually deciding the longer i live how long is my life going to be how healthy am i going to live is all decided by the kind of thoughts by the kind of karmas which i am doing right now now you would say what about a child who has just taken birth and been there for just one month and left the mortal coil the soul has left now what about that well if you think about it spirituality has an answer science doesn't spirituality says it has got everything to do with the karma but when did that child do the karma well spirituality talks about the previous birth now here this is what we need to understand that what we have done in a previous life also is actually deciding what is going to happen right now in this birth also see we as a soul are transitioning from one birth to another birth now many religions they talk about this as the last birth even if you take this as the last birth we're going to talk about something with which we can understand and accept it and understand that yes we have the power within us to accept situations 
to understand situations and to overcome the pain and the suffering which we are going through. So let's talk about first thing which we are continuing right now is how do I forgive myself? I need to realize that on a spiritual angle, every soul decides their own destiny. Every act, every karma which they have done is on the basis of what kind of account were they bringing with you. So let's say we talk about the financial account. Generally, we think about the interaction or the exchanges only on the financial terms. Sorry, spirituality says something different. It says not just we come over here in this earth, on this earth to exchange things financially. We even come over here to exchange emotions. We even come over here to exchange ideas. We even come over here to actually exchange energies in the form of different relationships. So, if you and I have come over here as brothers and sisters, and if suppose I leave my body today, that means my account with you has finished. Means my financial accounts with you have finished. My emotional accounts with you have finished. My relationship accounts with you have finished. All the pain and suffering, or the good which I was supposed to exchange with you, you were supposed to give to me and I was supposed to give it to you, has all been cleared off. And that's when I realized that it's time to get off the, off the train. That it's time to get off that flight now in the next station. That is my final destination. So, if somebody has left the body today, it is understood by spirituality that that was their final destination. All the karmic accounts have finished now. What could you do in that? Let's say a CD has got 15 songs and you are there listening to the 15 song. That means you are looking at somebody's life. You don't know whether it's the 15 song that is the last song on the CD because CD is the soul over here. So let's say a brother or a sister or a parent or a colleague or a friend has left their body. That means the CD was on the last 15 song. Now you can't see that. Neither could I see that. So the only thing which I can do right now is I can forgive myself for the things which I couldn't say, for the things which I couldn't do. But I can also do one more thing. I can actually come to understanding that I have to accept what has happened right now. And the only way in which I can accept what has happened right now is by realizing that karma is deciding everything. And I don't have much in my hand to do with anybody else's demise. So let's say for an example of my friend who couldn't go to her relative's death, a very close relative I would say. What is the karma which that soul had done that her own relative couldn't come and see them in the last moment? So it's all about karma getting back and is the time when souls realize. You see soul is immortal. A soul has to go through a realization. And most of us, we go through a realization when we are there on the deathbed. Actually, a lot of people repent. A lot of people ask for forgiveness when they are on the deathbed. So, karma bites back. So, what kind of life do I want to live right now? This is also something which I can learn of this, out of this pandemic. I am seeing so many people going and leaving their bodies. Well, everybody is facing the karmic account. You see, when somebody has to leave the body, it doesn't matter whether it's an accident. It doesn't matter whether it's an it's cancer. It doesn't matter if it's a virus. They just leave the body. We need to understand one thing that everybody is immortal if you don't think of them as a physical being. Each soul is immortal and lives even beyond death. That means the mind, the intelligence and the habits, the feelings which that soul was sharing with you was not the brain, was not this body. It was a being inside, a conscious being which was sharing all those emotions. That being has left the body for the next life on this earth itself. Now, another thing which we can do to accept, which is the second point, is that if we say that the soul has gone to the supreme abode, or that soul has gone to God, or that that soul has gone to heaven, then you decide out of these two choices, should you be happy to know that the soul has gone to heaven, or should you be sad thinking that the soul has gone to heaven or has gone actually to God Father or whomsoever you believe in. Well, isn't that a choice which you and I can make of 
imagining and thinking and accepting that yes it has happened for the good maybe that soul was suffering so i can accept it as yes the soul has left and the suffering has ended and the soul has gone to supreme abode maybe the soul has gone to heaven but then we need to understand one thing over here shouldn't you be happy with this fact and accept it that i am actually allowing and letting go that soul that's the third thing see we don't let go a being by sulking about we don't let go a being when we are not blessing that soul we can only let go a being to have a better life in the afterlife or to have a better life in the next birth in which we learn in spirituality that next life or the next birth exist we don't let go a being when we are not blessing them so you have already forgiven you have accepted the third thing which you can do is to let go and the only way to let go that soul is by not crying is not by repenting because you see a soul to soul connection is still there even if somebody has got off the train right that person is still remembering you you can still remember that person so this being the coach of the train and the soul being the traveler in the coach is only the soul who has got down right got down off the coach but the soul still exist that passenger still exist so that passenger can be in touch with you right here on a telepathic basis so when we are conversing we are conversing on a fifth dimension in which we are conversing with the soul on a telepathic basis so if you are feeling sad or if you are let's say cursing that soul for leaving you in a situation like this or leaving you penniless or leaving you with a lot of loan or leaving you with whatever condition you are in right now you can do two things only one is you can actually let go that soul and give them blessings and forgive them for what they have left you with or forgive them for what they have done to you in your life and you can give them a blessing by and when you're doing that by the way when you're giving that blessing you're making yourself lighter more than the other soul so what do you want to feel right now you want to be in control of your life you let go that being you give a blessing to that being so when you're giving a blessing it's a kind of a prayer and when you're doing that when you're giving that blessing you actually allowing that soul to have a better life in the next after life you see for 2 years that soul if that soul takes a birth is in the child's body and that soul is feeling everything of the last birth that's why you see children for no reason even if they're not hungry even if they are not done anything at that time they just woken up they're just crying even if they have not pooped in their huggies they're still crying and the mother is wondering why the child is crying the child has been fed the child has their diapers clean nothing has happened but still the child is crying that's the time the child is actually remembering the past life and all the emotions and feelings of the past life so if you are somebody who's crying and that soul has gone into the body the soul is feeling your emotions in the mother's womb it's still feeling it might be your brother sister father anybody but now that soul has become a child in another life it's still feeling your vibrations it's still feeling your energy what do you want to give that soul you want to give that soul blessings you want to send good vibrations to that soul or you want to sulk or you want to blame you want to complain and you want to make yourself also feel low spiritually and make that other soul also feel low spiritually so are you able to let go in that case so right now let's do a meditation a very simple meditation sit comfortably and let's go through all these three points i the soul the immortal being at this point realize that i had very less to do with that person's demise that soul's demise that soul had everything to do with their own karma so i forgive myself and i don't take any blame anymore and i also ask for forgiveness from that soul for all the things which i had done and said and i also forgive myself for being that person who had hurt that soul and the only thing which i can do right now is to accept and to let go 
So let me let go that soul by wishing them a better life in the next life, by wishing them a healthier body. If they were suffering from any kind of physical disease in this present life, I can even pray for them and thank them for being in my life, for adding certain good values in my life, for teaching me certain lessons in my life. I thank you for a journey which you spent with me, and I thank you, and I also pray for you, and I bless you for having a beautiful journey in the next afterlife. Thank you so much for listening to me. This is all that you can do. So do this meditation whenever you are remembering that person. Do this meditation before sleeping at night and after getting up early in the morning, and be in gratitude that you are still alive. And do good karmas because that's what is going to help you out. Till then, take care. Bye bye.